Hello and welcome back to another video and an update on our Verdi Mantis F80 M3 and what is going to be the final stage of tuning for us on this car. We've had this car from new, we've done stage one, stage two, then we did a set of hybrid turbos. We are now gonna fit a set of Mosselman hybrid turbos to the car. This video is slightly disjointed because we've been filming it over the course of the last 18 months to two years, but for one reason or another, we haven't been able to pull it together. So a younger me is gonna show you these being installed and show you the turbos in more detail. So Hash is halfway through the job and he's got the standard turbos out and we've got the Mosselman turbos next to him so we can compare them. One thing I like to point out is that when you buy the Mosselman turbos, they come as a complete unit and the core charge is only like 350 euros. So it means that if you pay the extra 350 euros, you can keep your stock turbos if you want to go back to stock in the future or you can sell them to somebody. Most of the time you'd have to either pay quite a bit for a core charge as a refundable deposit or you'd have to pay that much extra to get the complete units. So in that way, budget-wise, it actually works pretty well. You can see the differences in the exhaust turbine here between the two. It's quite a bit bigger and it has a slightly different shape. And also on the compressor side here, you can see the size difference and you can also see that the blades are actually shaped in a different way. Now these are currently Mosselman's biggest hybrid turbos. They are in the process of making something called the R, which is going to flow much better than this. But what we're gonna do is get these ones on first, tune the car, see where we're at, and we'll swap them for the higher flow turbos at a later date. The other thing we have is the Mosselman oil thermostat, which is a very nice machine piece. Not only does it look good in the engine bay, it actually opens up a little bit earlier than the stock thermostat and keeps the oil temperature lower by about 10 to 20 degrees. So looking forward to getting that on the car and testing it out. Um, here we've just got the stock BMW gaskets and bolts that we need to get the turbos on. So what we're gonna do is put the Mosselman turbos on and then we will tune the car and see what power we can get out of it. With the installation process completed, we did mention that Mossman were going to release a high flow version of their hybrid turbo. They did do that after we'd installed the original ones, 
but we have now fitted the high flow version which is now their standard offering so any of the results you see in this video is what you would get with the standard Mosselman turbos during the tuning process we did realize that we had run out of fuel but instead of using methanol we wanted to do something that was a bit more fit and forget so we fitted a set of f10 m5 injectors to the car and tuned it according to those so let's go to the dyno and see what the results were Thanks again for MSL for letting us use their dyno jet. I can now go through the figures with you. We've got dyno graph up on the screen here. I'll explain the three sets of power curves. So the red one is a stock car. The blue curve is a stage two car from us, which was one of the most powerful ones we've had on MSL's dyno. And the green curve is our car with the Mosselman turbos, M5 injectors and pump fuel. So you can see the stock car made 395. The stage two car made 578, but the power drops off a lot towards the top end, which is what you'd expect from stock turbos. And the green line over here is the car with the Mossman turbos and the M5 injectors. And you can see it's holding the power a lot better at the top end, especially right at the end. You can rev the car out and it's still making over 550 wheel horsepower. So stock was 395, stage two 483, and then the max power with the hybrid turbos was 578 at the wheels which is a huge jump so it's going up almost 100 wheel horsepower at each stage but with the hybrid turbos it's holding the power a lot better at the top end what does that translate to in terms of performance on the road dynos are one thing but we really like to test our cars on the road as well to see how fast they are so the stock car made 100 to 200 kilometers an hour in 9.07 seconds and with a very similar slope uh, with our car with the Mossman turbos and the M5 injectors, we've managed to do a 5.4 second 100 to 200, which is very quick. You have to remember this car is not running methanol at all. It's just running M5 injectors, the turbos and our tune on pump fuel. So it's something that you don't have to mess around with meth putting it into a tank. You just go to Shell fill your car up and you can get this kind of performance. So that's the draggy data, 100 to 200 kilometers an hour, but what about the VMAX events we've been taking? We did take the car a number of times trying to hit that 200 miles an hour GPS, but we found a limiter that was proving a little bit tricky, but we did find it in the end. The spec of the car is exactly the same as on the dyno graphs and the draggies I've shown you, with the exception that we've used race fuel for the race event and we were data logging and tuning the car at the same time just to get the most of it. We never dynoed the car with that setup, but we were just trying to hit over 200 miles an hour. And as you can see, this is a rear wheel drive car. It's a bit of a challenge to launch, but towards the end of the run, you see the clock stopping at 200 miles an hour, but the revs keep going up and we did finally manage to hit 202 miles an hour GPS. How does it drive compared to a standard car? Well, the standard car has quicker spooling turbo, so at the low end you do get that torque hit. This takes a little bit longer to come in, so it's coming in around two and a half to three thousand, as you can see from the dyno graph. But when it comes in, it's <laughs> a bit violent <laughs> and exciting. You can really hear the turbos coming through the even cherry intake and the charge pipe there. 
so it, you do change the behavior a lot. It feels more linear, I would say, but as I said, the turbo lags a little bit harder. This car does have a Deco Stage 3 clutch, which is slightly more grabby than the stock one, but with the extra torque we run when we go to VMAX, running race fuel, we do need that extra clamping force from the clutch itself. In terms of suspension, this car is running our Bilstein V6 EDC dampers with the MSS. So in effect, this car is the furthest that we will take an F80 M3 and it's pretty much the ultimate road spec for me. I haven't changed the brakes on the car purely because for road use, I don't think it ever needed it. If I was going to track the car, then I would definitely change the brakes. And even at VMAX, we were using the standard pads and they were stopping us from, you know, 200 miles an hour down to stopping speed very easily without any fuss. And it was very repeatable throughout the day. We're coming to the end of our time with this car now. I think we've got one more video where we're going to go over the car again, tell you exactly what we've changed. And then the plan is to actually auction the car on my friend's auction site, shooting brake. So it'll be interesting to see if it does meet the reserve that we set for it. Cause I would like the car to go complete if possible. If not, it will follow our previous projects where we kind of demodify it down to a level that is generally acceptable to the marketplace and let the car go in that form. But for now, I'm gonna leave you to the sounds of some turbos ball. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.